Ever watched a movie that made you feel a bunch of different things? Well, Audrey Rose from 1977 is one of those films that'll keep you entertained with funny, shocking, and sad stuff. It's about a couple whose daughter might have been reborn, leading to some really creepy events. Any specific part of the movie stuck with you? Or do you have a special memory tied to it? Share your stories in the comments below. Let's talk about Audrey Rose and all its ups and downs. Don't forget your popcorn and let's dive into the movie world. In 1977, Audrey Rose hit the screens, blending horror with drama in a gripping tale. The story follows Hoover, who, after losing his wife and daughter, delves into the occult, believing his daughter's soul is in another girl named Ivy. Directed by Robert Wise, the film's visuals capture the vibe of 1970s cinema with dim lighting adding to the atmosphere. Hoover's conviction leads to clashes with Ivy's family, who eventually begin to see his point as he soothes Ivy during her episodes. The movie ends on a sad note, with Ivy reliving her past life as Audrey Rose, revealing the emotional scars left by her early birth after Audrey Rose's death. The film delves into themes of loss, reincarnation, and the consequences of meddling with the natural order of things. Overall, Audrey Rose leaves a strong impression with its solid performances and engaging storyline. It's a classic horror flick worth watching. Frank DeFelita took on multiple roles in Audrey Rose, serving as the producer, screenwriter, and the novelist behind the original source material. Director Robert Wise discussed the improvisational approach used in the film, explaining how a pivotal bedroom scene between Marsha Mason and John Beck was enhanced through on-set improvisation. Wise allowed the actors to engage in a heated argument, capturing their authentic emotions on tape. DeFelita then transcribed the improvised dialogue, incorporating it into the final script. Notably, Audrey Rose marked the only film in Wise's career to undergo a full week of rehearsals prior to filming. This preparation likely contributed to the film's cohesive performances and narrative flow. Brooke Shields auditioned for the role of Ivy Templeton in the movie adaptation and even appeared on the original novel's cover. Melissa Gilbert and Alison Arngrim, known for their roles in Little House on the Prairie, also tried out for the part. However, Susan Swift ended up getting the role, making her debut in movies with Audrey Rose. She played Ivy Templeton, and her performance in the film is well remembered. The casting process and the different actresses considered for the role provide interesting insights into the movie's production. It makes you wonder how the film would have been with a different leading lady. Nonetheless, Susan Swift's portrayal of Ivy Templeton is a significant moment in her career. This behind-the-scenes look at Audrey Rose's casting decisions gives us a glimpse into the process of bringing characters to life on the big screen. In Audrey Rose, Ivy Templeton's parents resided in the historic Hotel des Artistes in New York City. Susan Swift skillfully played the roles of Ivy Templeton and the mysterious Audrey Rose. Directed by Robert Wise, the film explored supernatural themes and the possibility of dimensions beyond our understanding. Wise, known for embracing unconventional narratives, approached the subject with balance, acknowledging the mysterious allure of the unknown without definitively proving or disproving reincarnation. Throughout the story, the main character grapples with profound questions, delving into her own psyche and challenging conventional beliefs. As Ivy Templeton, she navigates her character's journey with poise, bringing depth that captivates audiences. Under Wise's direction, the film weaves suspense and intrigue, drawing viewers into a world where reality and the ethereal blur. Through visual cues and atmospheric cinematography, he creates an immersive experience that lingers in the mind after the credits roll. In Audrey Rose, the exploration of themes like identity and destiny resonates with audiences, inviting contemplation. As Ivy Templeton confronts the specter of Audrey Rose, she faces her deepest fears and desires, embarking on a journey of self-discovery transcending time and space. In the end, the movie emerges not just as a tale of supernatural intrigue, but as a meditation on the human condition and the mysteries beyond our understanding. Through Ivy Templeton's journey, we are reminded of the enduring power of the human spirit to seek truth and meaning in an uncertain world. Audrey Rose stands as a reminder of the timeless allure of storytelling and cinema's power to explore the human experience. Through its haunting narrative and nuanced performances, it leaves a lasting impression, prompting viewers to ponder existence long after the final frame fades to black. Audrey Rose, released in 1977, drew comparisons to The Exorcist, with some suggesting it was inspired by or akin to the earlier film. 
Susan Swift's portrayal was allegedly directed to resemble Linda Blair's character. The screenplay was influenced by a real-life event in Frank DeFelita's life, detailed in the case for reincarnation. DeFelita's son displayed remarkable musical talent without prior training, sparking his contemplation of reincarnation. Robert Wise, known for musicals like West Side Story, directed Audrey Rose, marking a departure from his usual genre. Wise previously directed horror films like The Haunting and The Body Snatcher. This movie was his final foray into horror. Audrey Rose, released in 1977, has two characters named Ivy One, is the main character, played by Susan Swift, and the other is Ivy Jones, played by Mary Lou Sides. Susan Swift, playing Ivy Templeton, got an introducing credit in the film. This movie is one of two books by Frank DeFelita made into movies, the other being The Entity. It's about a young girl who seems to remember a past life, which makes the story very interesting and makes you think. The movie talks about reincarnation and the mysteries of the human mind. Directed by Robert Wise, Audrey Rose is a thriller that keeps you interested until the end. In 1977, Frank DeFelita, known for his work as an author, screenwriter, and producer, stepped into movie production with Audrey Rose. It was his first time producing a movie regularly, although he had been an executive producer for ZPG in 1972, which he also helped write. The movie falls into the horror genre inspired by DeFelita's love for Rosemary's Baby. It explores eerie themes, challenging common ideas, after the movie, DeFelita continued the story with a sequel called For Love of Audrey Rose, published in 1982. But this sequel hasn't been made into a movie yet. Even though DeFelita made significant contributions to literature and film, Audrey Rose remains his only producing credit for theatrical movies. Though it's not as well known as some other horror films, it shows DeFelita's skill as a storyteller. Overall, Audrey Rose is an interesting part of DeFelita's career, revealing his venture into movie production and his love for horror. In the movie Audrey Rose, director Robert Wise hired an acting coach for Susan Swift, who played a challenging dual double role. The film came out two years after the release of the novel by Frank DeFelita, who also penned the screenplay and co-produced the movie. A comprehensive analysis of the movie can be found in the academic treatise titled East Meets West Representing the Possessed Child in Frank DeFelita's Robert Wise's Audrey Rose, written by Adrian Scober and published in 2004 in the journal Literature Film Quarterly. It delves into the themes and elements of the film in depth. In the movie Audrey Rose, during a conversation with medical staff, Ivy recites a popular riddle, when is a door not a door? When it's a jar? The film concludes with a quote from the Bhagavad Gita echoing the novel's ending. The closing credits feature an epilogue stating there is no end. For the soul there is never birth nor death, nor having once been does it ever cease to be. It is unborn, eternal, ever existing, undying, and primeval. John Pertwee was initially considered for the role of Elliot Hoover.